Yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou. You guys are just in time for something new. WTBD, hey, what that brush do? I'm here to bring you another brush review. All right, so I know y'all want me to get back to these brush reviews and everything like that. I appreciate y'all for all the love shown on my previous videos just to do the monsoon cap review. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people was probably asking, hey, yo, J. Lou, when are the monsoon caps gonna drop? If you haven't noticed or checked on my video, I basically said it was like early or mid May. So y'all be on the lookout, you know what I'm saying? My boy CJ has been working to be able to provide you guys with more caps of the ones that you like, you know what I'm saying? And he said he has something great in store for you guys. But I know y'all didn't click on the video for that you know what i'm saying so today what i'm gonna be doing is reviewing both of these club brushes you know what i'm saying i figured i'd do both of these together simply because to me it's no point in doing a separate review of both of these brushes because they're both the same body style so i figured i can cover everything all in one video so let's not waste any time let's get straight into it all right so with this brush right here this brush is the medium version of the club uh that the brush can came out with you know what I'm saying like I mentioned before in my first review all of the brushes I bought I bought for a specific reason now the thing about these brushes what make them one of a kind is the fact that there has never ever been a seven row club brush and as you guys can see these bad boys are seven rows they are widely spaced to me in my opinion when you compare it with a royalty brush or if you compare it to a diane 8119 those are the brushes the royalties were inspired by you know what i'm saying basically to create a better version of it now this brush is seven rows and this brush is seven rows but when you put both of them together one thing that you would notice clearly is the fact that these new fatality torino pros are way wider in the space you know what I'm saying? Now, I might as well answer the question that you all may be asking. All right, J. Lou, does a wider space brush actually space my waves out? Now, there's been people before me that have made videos about spacer brushes and things like that, you know what I'm saying? And I found out half of those guys were lying. They basically said that spacer brushes don't help space your waves out. Wider bristles actually do help with spacing your waves out, you know what I'm saying? I've been using these brushes mainly for my previous wolf. I know a lot of people was anticipating a cut. I really didn't do a, a video on it you know what i'm saying but this picture right here is a picture of my waves you know what i'm saying when i finally kind of maxed out my wolf i felt that my waves was look, looking kind of ugly and everything like that at the surface level but one thing i want to encourage you guys when you are using brushes like this and you are using the correct angles they will space your waves out and to prove that these are my results after my wolf after i cut As you guys can see in the previous picture, my waves was looking bogus, you know what I'm saying? I, I really it, I really didn't like the way they was looking on the surface level. But with these brushes, once I cut my wolf down, y'all see the results, you know what I'm saying? Nah. So let me get straight to the point of the reason why I know for a fact that these brushes helps not only space my waves out, but help line my connections up. The first thing that I like about these brushes is the fact that they are wide body brushes. You know what I'm saying? When you look at the body of them, they are square and they're they're way wider than most brushes come in. You know, if I was to compare it with another Torino that recently came out, as you can see, this one, the clubs are more wider spaced. And that's not only just with the body, but that's also with the bristles, you know? So that's one thing I mentioned in my previous video Yo, and it's like whenever you're using these brushes one thing i respect about brush king you know what i'm saying a lot of people tend to complain about his prices but the man knows his brushes but more importantly he knows his bristles there are not a lot of companies on the market that actually have white bristles that have the firmness that brush king has on his brushes now this brush right here is a medium brush you know what i'm saying when you put it against your scalp you can definitely feel that it's a medium. Now compared to the Oval Torino Pro that I recently reviewed, when I brush with it, they basically feel somewhat the same. But one thing you guys should know is the fact that darker or brown bristles are a lot harder than blonde or white bristles. You know what I'm saying? So even though both of these brushes are mediums, if you guys kind of have a, a, a tender scalp or if you're concerned about that, you know what I'm saying? You want to steer away from brushes that have darker bristles that are advertised as medium brushes, simply because these bristles are are a lot firmer even though they're both 100% war bristle the darker bristles are a lot firmer than than the blonde bristles but but, but it's 
simply amazing to me that he was able to design a brush with white and blonde bristles, you know what I'm saying? It basically has the strength that this brush has. Now, another point, the reason why I like the, 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 the wide space bristles is the simple fact that whenever you brush your hair, like I mentioned before, when you brush on your scalp, you can feel these bristles reaching deep down into your scalp. While I was on my wolf and I was brushing my hair, I was able to feel that the brush was getting down to my scalp with this medium, you know what I'm saying? And whenever you know your angles, you trust your angles and everything like that, you can get the greatest benefit from a brush like this simply because it's getting down to the foundation like a comb would and it's able to move your pattern and line up your foundation all the way through. Now the softy version of this, when I was using this bad boy, this is more so to lay my hair down after I brush with it and help distribute the oils, the natural oils that the medium brush produces on my scalp. Now when it comes to cleaning these brushes, I haven't really gone through a full cleaning just because I haven't had them too, too long, you know? But the thing I like about these brushes is because they're so widely spaced, it's easy to be able to get either a paper napkin, you can either get a Q-tip or whatever, and just run run them through the bristles to remove any dirt or debris that's at the bottom. I had to do that for this brush right here before the video, you know what I'm saying? Because if I would've gotten in front of the camera with a dirty brush, I know I would've got chopped up on it, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get the three on that one. I basically took some tissue paper, wrapped it around my finger like this, and then I just went through the bristles. You know what I'm saying? Just by doing that, I was able to clean this brush right before the video. Now, of course, you definitely want to wash the, the bristles, you know what I'm saying? Because they may absorb some of the products that you may be using or whatever. But when it comes to all that dirt, debris, dandruff, or anything like that, it's easier to clean these brushes because the rows are so widely spaced. Now, the same thing with this brush right here, when it comes to the way that these bristles feel, even though it's a blunt soft it still has pull because like I always say brush king makes his brushes to be able to have pull except for one brush that I own you know what I'm saying this brush will lay your hair down but at the same time it has pull to greatly benefit you during your wolf now when it comes to comparing it with a brush you know I have an OG 8118 you know what I'm saying this is a really great brush but they don't really make them anymore you probably can find the OG you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day because they have the Torino pros and these are a lot of more available you know what I'm saying I, I highly recommends is going with one of these. One of the reasons why is when you look at the two at first glance, as you can see, this brush is really great for vertical brushing. You know what I'm saying? I can either brush this way or I can brush this way. Now with these brushes, I get the best benefit by simply brushing the way that the rows are lined up. You know what I'm saying? If I try to vertical brush with these br brushes, you won't really hit all of your waves. You know what I'm saying? And by doing that, sometimes you can create forks because of the simple fact that if you have bristles that's only hitting certain parts of your hair, it'll pull that hair in that certain direction and a fork will create, you know? So now people tend to say you have to use the same type of brush. You can't really use spacer brushes and things like that. You know what I'm saying? With brushes that have closely spaced bristles because they'll mess your waves up or they'll confuse your hair but they don't know what they're talking about you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day you don't want a vertical brush with this simply because like i just said but you can still brush like this because when you brush with this face of the brush you know what i'm saying you basically have the same spacing that most brushes have you know what i'm saying so another thing that i should point out also is as you all will see the diane the bristles are very short compared to the torino pro you know what i'm saying now when you put these brushes basically side by side it won't look like that if you put them back to back but if you put the edge of the brush you know what i'm saying basically where the bristles start next to each other you will see that the bristles are slightly shorter on the diane you know now with this brush when you bring it slightly forward just to match the back of it you know what i'm saying it will appear as if they're the same length but the reason why is because this brush has more wood you know what i'm saying it's a lot thicker as you all can see by just looking at it like this so by mentioning that that points out the fact that these brushes are way lighter than the diane brushes when i first got them that was the first thing that i noticed when i started brushing with them i was like man these these bad boys are super light. When you put it in your pocket, you can kind of forget that it's there because it's not really heavy, you know what I'm saying? Because the bristles are longer, you may notice that it'll bulge out of your pocket a little bit more, so you want to make sure you wear deep pockets and things like that. But these bad boys are very, very light, you know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I like about it. If you don't like brushes that are light, you know what I'm saying, then I would say steer clear of these because the way that he designed these is crazy how the bristles are a lot longer, but then the weight of them is not that much because that means, to me personally, that means I can brush them lot longer and everything like that. Now, as y'all can see the finish, I always like the Torino Pro finishes, you know what I'm saying? Because they simple. In each of, each of these videos, I try to point out something slightly different, you know, to help you benefit with these brushes. Now, with the Torino Pros, as you all will see, one brush has tape over the logo and the other brush doesn't. Now, the reason why I did that 
on purpose was to be able to show you guys when you look at the logo as you all can see is not ingrained into the brush this is a sticker now with that being said when i first grabbed the brushes out the stickers were peeling up a little bit on some of the brushes and if you put them in your pockets and everything like that your pockets or your, your jeans may rip the sticker off or if you put it in a bag or whatever what you may notice is the fact that the sticker will get pulled off so for me what i did was i just simply put some clear tape on it you know what i'm saying it's not the clear clear tape it's just more so just some clear tape just so you can still see the logo a lot of ways we typically use like clear nail polish to cover up the the logos you do not want to do that on these brushes now on the previous brushes like a royalty these are kind of like ingrained painted on there you know what i'm saying so you can definitely use the clear nail polish you know what i'm saying but with the new fatality serena pros you do not want to go in that direction all right so some of the last things i want to say about these brushes some of the reasons you may want to buy a club is the simple fact that clubs are a lot more compact and they allow you to be able to get more direct angles so when it comes to your pattern if you have certain angles that are very short you know what i'm saying you got to change them constantly to be able to help your line your, your waves get lined up these brushes are really good to go with because they're small, they're compact, and they can help you get those small little angles without covering too much of your hair. Another thing I want to point out is the fact that the way that these brushes are made, the body style of them are completely different than any of the brushes that I've seen. As you all will notice, the shape curved contours right here, I kind of like this little dip simply because I can put my pinky right there and it allows me just to be able to get a better grip of the brush. Now, I'm not saying that that's a major difference, but me, that's just a personal preference. I just like that little groove right there. And at the same time, it's, it's just a little bit different. Something just to make the brush pop, you know what I'm saying? Just to add a little bit of style to the to the body and everything like that. And it's just like, honestly, man, it's, these brushes just feel really great in your hands, you know? Now, for me, I don't have any regrets of buying these brushes simply because the bristles on these brushes are A1. I've already seen the results through one wolf of just using these brushes and everything like that. So I'm gonna definitely keep these brushes in my arsenal you know what I'm saying? But before I end this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little brush session in to show y'all how I brush with club brushes because I know a lot of people probably haven't seen me brush with club brushes, but oval palms as well as club brushes are some of my favorite brushes to use. So let's get straight into it. What I'm talking about is with my crown, because it swirls all the way around, if I was to brush this little angle right here on my head. So with club brushes, you can really get a good benefit of getting those small angles like that. And the same thing when I go around my crown, because I'm going around this way, this brush only mainly covers this portion of my hair that I'm brushing. Now with a long handle brush, I noticed in the past that it carried out a little bit further, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, that's one of the reasons why I got this clash on my waist right here. But I've basically been using my palms as well as the clubs in my crown area because my angles are very short and they and they change very drastically, you know? So for me, clubs are really great to help, my, to help with my crown, to be able to get a crown session in and things like that. And like I tell you guys before, you can always use the corner edges of, of the breast to be able to brush your crown and to really finesse those little corners on your angles and things like that. One thing that I noticed a, a little bit long ago was that I've, I've been trying to like line up this whole side of my head. Now what I noticed was with my previous wolf, I was able to get rid of all the forks that was at the top and now I have these forks that's kind of like lower at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? So with these angles, these angles are very short and things like that. So these club brushes allow me to be able to get right in that area. And because they're so light, it allows me to do what I need to do with the brush, you know? So I feel like within this next wolf, these forks should be moved a lot more or even completely gone you know but with 720s that's the thing about 720s man it's really hard to get uh, rid of all the forks just because for me my curl type is, is a lot more closely spaced you know what I'm saying when you have a, lot, a little bit more waves it's harder to get for all the 720s but I'm gonna make a video about that in the future but as y'all can see with these brushes they allow me to get better angles within the, the trouble areas that I have you know what I'm saying and because the fact that they're light it's even greater for the brush sessions because your arms don't get as tired all right, so as y'all can see on this side, the bottom portion of my waves goes straight to the front. So with this, I'm able to brush the, the, the bottom half of my waves, you know what I'm saying? And be able to keep that straight angle all the way through. And then because it's so compact, when I go up to the top and I brush this side, I'm not covering too much of my head, but at the same time, I'm able to get the angle that I want. You know what I'm saying? Now with a long handle brush, I'm gonna cover way more of my head, but I like club brushes because you can get those targeted angles to help you line your connections and your waves up. 
All right, now one thing I definitely want to say is the reason why these brushes got their names for clubs and everything is because back in the day, y'all know Waver State brushing their hair, but when you go to a club, you really can't have a brush too big because when they're doing a pat down, it may come across as a gun, you know? So one thing that they did was they made brushes that are small and they compact to be able to fit into your pocket and they got the nickname club because that the, you can carry them with you wherever you go. So you would see dudes in a club, you know what I'm saying, posted up against the wall, basically just brushing their hair and everything like that, you know? So that's where the name of these brushes come from. But at the end of the day, I just want to throw it out there for the people that may not know. These brushes are really great because you can bring them with you almost anywhere. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, with that being said, as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? I made this video quick, fast, in a hurry. Your boy was working out and everything like that. But I want to get this video off of you guys. So make sure you drop a like if you liked it. On the side, I got videos that you guys should enjoy. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, J. Lou. I don't want to hold up too much time. Hope you guys have a great week. Salute.